What is going on, I Warriors? So today we're going to talk about how you can lose 20 pounds fast. Now, I did a video on how you can lose 30 pounds in 30 days, but that one has a timer on it. That one is specific to getting to a point by a certain time frame, while this one is just trying to do it as fast and efficiently as possible. So with that being said, what is the first thing that you need to know so that you can go ahead and lose weight fast or lose 20 pounds really quickly? First things first, you have to eat the things that you enjoy. I know it sounds counterintuitive. I know it sounds like, wait a second, I'm trying to lose weight quickly. I, I enjoy all of this junk food. Why are you telling me to eat the junk food? I'm not telling you to eat the junk food per se. What I am saying is make sure, of course, you're within your caloric limit in terms of being at a caloric deficit so that you can continue to lose weight. However, eat the things that you actually enjoy and also make sure that they are giving you the nutritional benefits so that it can help with weight loss. So make sure you're getting your fiber make sure you're getting your protein right make sure you're getting your mixtures of carbs and fats but ensure that although all of that stuff is there you are not overeating in terms of your calories and you're actually eating below your caloric limit that allows for you to have a, a be in a caloric deficit and lose weight why do i say this why am i saying eat the things that you like and how does that help you lose 20 pounds fast when you should just be eating the healthiest things possible in the world that maybe taste as bland as possible but they help you lose the weight quickly you're confusing me, Edward. Well, here, here's the reason. Because what we really need to understand is the reason weight loss takes so long is not because you are losing weight fast in a linear set. No, it is because most people, actually a lot of people, deal with weight regain. So if you want to lose weight quickly, and let's say by August or September, you want to be a certain weight. If you're losing weight, but then you become demoralized with your with your diet, whatever you're eating, you, you get kind of tired of it. You start going back. You start uh, overeating because you just feel that you've neglected the things that you've liked so much that you start to binge on those things because you've been on a diet. The time will not change. Time will still continue moving forward. But guess who's going backwards? You are. Guess who's getting closer? Whatever date that you're looking for, whatever month that you're looking to succeed, but you're going backwards. Now you 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 were here, and now that the month is here, you're back here. You see what I'm talking about? If you have something that you can consistently do, by the time you reach it, your weight will be here as opposed to your weight being back here because you're actually stopping the things that 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 uh, that that's helping you lose weight. It, th this is not an all sum game, guys. There are things that you think you have under control, but you really don't. Just the process of losing weight should not be the only criteria in which you decide to do something or not. I say that all the time for people that do any diet, heck, even intermittent fasting. If you do intermittent fasting and you think to yourself, what? I cannot do this. And you've been doing it for a while and you think to yourself that you cannot do it. Um, obviously, there's a break in period for anything, right? Two weeks so that you can break in and you can get the rhythm. But if after those two weeks, if after a month, if after a month and a half, you feel like uh, I can't do that is not the diet for you. You need to pick a diet that works for you and on all aspects where you literally feel like you no, know, even a month in, even two months in that you can do this for the rest of your life. That is super important because as we said, the regain thing makes you lose weight slowly. 
slower than what it would be if you were just consistent. And a lot of times people don't reach their goals when it comes to weight loss and say, well, I can never lose my belly fat. No, your belly fat is usually the last thing to go. And what it would require is for you to be consistent. But some people just, most people just fall off before they get to that super consistency where even the belly fat is starting to go down. So you want to make sure that you're eating the things. This is why I always say eat the things that you like because the things that you like is going to be the thing that takes you over the edge to keep you consistent with the weight loss, thus making you lose the weight fast. You'll lose the 20 pounds fast if you don't continue to regain 10 pounds, lose 5, gain 5, lose 10, gain 10, lose 5, gain 10, it, it, as an overall picture, you're never going to reach that 20 pounds or it's going to take you forever because you keep going back and forth regaining weight. Guys, weight regain is literally the actual problem. It isn't weight loss. Many people have figured out ways to lose weight. Even a person where you're like, well, why doesn't he just lose weight? Or why doesn't she just lose weight? All she needs to do is this and this and that. I guarantee you that person who looks morbidly obese or, or obese has lost weight many, many times. Their problem is the weight regain because it's hard to sustain the weight loss. Therefore, stop putting all these mental roadblocks and hormonal roadblocks in front of you by actually not eating the things that you like to eat. Eat the things that you like and it will go a long, long way. Bouncing off of that and talking about what we were just talking about, do the diets that you like. Stop eating a Mediterranean diet if you don't like Mediterranean food. This all goes in line with doing the things that you enjoy while losing weight. Because if you don't do that, it's going to take you forever. You will start to regain weight. Now, if intermittent fasting, for example, I've seen that a lot of people love intermittent fasting. It helps them lose weight and it helps keep the weight off because they could keep doing it and it's very simple and easy um, of course there are days that you can make exceptions and you don't have to do it perfectly right if you you have friends and family that maybe sometimes it disaligns with what you're doing with intermittent fasting that's fine make those days the exception but don't make them the rule the key is to not fall off right if you have a, an exception day that is not the same as falling off Stop also uh, kind of beating yourself up simply because you took one day where you didn't do the regimen. That could lead to a snowball effect. Don't do that. One day you didn't do the regimen is fine. That is not falling off. Now, a week, two weeks, one month of like completely disregarding a regimen and going going a, a, a rogue that is falling off so one thing that a lot of people do is they psychologically kind of beat themselves up when they uh fall off of a diet even one day of falling off of the diet they make themselves feel like oh you know what I can't do this. I, I, I clearly cannot do this. And I, you know, I'm now I'm, I'm back to square one. You're not, you're not back to square one. You just did like a month and a half of uh, intermittent fasting consistently. You broke it one day. You're not back to square one. There's a lot of weight loss that just came from that month and a half of intermittent fasting. Just bounce back the next day. Understand that you have days that you can create as exceptions, but the rule is that you're always doing whatever regimen it is. Even if it isn't intermittent fasting, doesn't have to be, but whatever it is, that is the thing that you do and everything else is the exception to that thing. And you have to think about it that way so that you could always bounce right back, immediately back into the regimen that you're doing or whatever regimen or diet that it is. But make sure that you again pick a diet that you like a lot of people like intermittent fasting because it does allow you to eat the things that you like since intermittent fasting doesn't necessarily tell you what to eat just tells you kind of when to eat and that for a lot of people is super appealing and when we look at studies intermittent fasting groups versus any other group they tend to be the ones that are more more are more likely to adhere to the diet as it appears to be much easier for those who do intermittent fasting when it comes to these clinical studies when it comes to these 
uh, randomized control trials. If you haven't tried intermittent fasting, maybe give it a shot and see if that's something that works for you as it has worked for a lot of people in terms of consistency, because that's a common theme here. Consistency is the common theme. You want to keep doing something as long as possible ideally forever so that you can reach your weight loss goals and hold off your weight from ever regaining again and final thing is exercise you got to do the exercise now we know things have to be consistent but if you want to add that element of speed cardio resistance training will assist you as i mentioned in my previous video uh, the cardio helps with not only burning calories in that moment, but it also helps with the epoch effect, which is you sometimes burn up to 36 hours of calories as your body's trying to get you back to rest from the heavy cardio session. And then of course, resistance training, which I recommend to do them on off days. Don't do it on the days that you do cardio, do it on the day that you don't do cardio, but resistance training helps build muscle and muscle or not muscle, but lean mass is the primary driver for your metabolic rate. However, you can't really manipulate your lean mass other than your muscle mass. That's the only thing that you can use to manipulate your lean mass to actually get bigger or have more weight on it. So you increase your weight through increasing your muscle, which increases your lean mass, not mass that requires, not mass that has body fat, but lean. And that will help improve your metabolic rate, which is something that you need because when you're losing weight, your metabolism is dropping. So try to counteract that with increasing muscle mass. And as I mentioned before, if you are detrained, if you haven't gone to the gym in years, if you've never gone to the gym, there's this thing called body recomposition where you could be actually losing weight, losing body fat and building muscle at the same time. And you're going to be building muscle pretty quickly for that first year. So even a little bit of muscle, you don't have to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, even a little bit of muscle will go a long way to help increase your metabolism or the 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 driver the, to, to drive your metabolism so that it goes up and counterbalances the drop when you're losing weight so hopefully this video has helped you guys because this is something that's critical and i think that not a lot of people think about weight loss in this way they don't think about it in the consistency way which is actually the problem ladies and gentlemen it's the consistency because as I said, everybody you've met out there, I guarantee you at some point they have lost weight. No matter how big they are, no matter how small they are, whatever it is, they've wanted to lose weight, they've lost the weight, but they've regained the weight. Many of them have regained the weight and it is because they just simply cannot stick to whatever regimen it is. So if you're constantly losing and regaining, losing and regaining, losing and regaining, you're taking forever. Even if somebody is much slower than you are in losing the weight, they could be losing the weight, but they're not regaining it because they're doing the things that they like. Therefore, as you're doing this, as you're going super fast here and they're going slow here, you're going like this and they're still going like that, right? So they're still losing the weight much faster than you because when we look at it, you're all the way over here and they're still doing this and time doesn't wait for them to finish and figure out whatever you know weight loss regimen that's working for them that they can do consistently. So remember, consistency is key when it comes to weight loss and making sure that you're losing 20 pounds as fast as you possibly can. If you guys are enjoying this video and you want to help others understand the power of consistency and why it matters so much in terms of getting there as quickly as possible, go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe and hit the share button. So you can share this to your friends or family that need help with weight loss or that have been struggling with weight loss for a while now. Of course, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.